I've um, been searching the internet for a long time to find uh, different people who are interested in Plato's philosophy because I'm convinced that Plato was one of the most important philosophers of the history of philosophy and uh, one that as the Harvard gentleman Alfred North Whitehead said I always have to call him the Harvard gentleman because he appears so gentlemanly and his writings appear so um, uh, they appear to emanate from the mind of a decent man and somebody who has good intuitions about morality, goodness, God, uh, mathematics. And I think some of this was achieved by him, uh, for example, in writing the Principia Mathematica that he wrote with uh, Bertrand Russell. And so this system is going to be important uh, to solving Riemann's hypothesis or of laying the foundation for the solution of Riemann's hypothesis because uh, it may be that system that one can translate it into and then use that mathematical uh, function as the basis for proving that it is a logical truth and so that all implicants that, that descend from it Will also be uh, will also uh, be truths of mathematics and physics that eventually might help with the with solving re both the Riemann hypothesis and the uh, Yang Mills uh, the Yang Mills hypothesis, which deals with the uh, weak nuclear force and the equations that are at work there. But I want to dedicate this uh, work to uh, to Theoria. Apophasis, and I want to get him on the trail of this particular problem because I'm wondering if, if once he began reflecting, he's done an extensive work on Plato and on Plato's divided line in the Republic and how the divided line produces the um, isosceles triangle with uh, base angles of 36 degrees and a an, uh, vertex angle of 108 degrees, and that that's a very special, he believes that that's a fundamental to all the forms in nature. So he really has kind of developed a theory of the Ur form uh, that Goethe brings about in his philosophy and that I make so prim primal or primitive or primitive and primal and basic to my novel and to the discovery of Madison X and uh, her lover Herschel in the novel who discovered this when she founds a biotechnology company named Centronics 8. And so I want to see if I can uh, lure Mr. Uh, Theoria Applefaces to actually begin looking at it. He thinks the primitive form of, of the whole cosmos, or the earth form of the whole cosmos, is a trochoid. And that the forces, the centripetal, or the inner directed force of gravity, and the centrifugal force, the outer directed force of gravity, are the very structure of space-time itself. So recurring to Hilbert Polya and the Hilbert Polya approach to Riemann's zeta function in which uh, uh, George Polya in his book Here's How to Prove It said that there might be something in nature that answers exactly to Riemann's zeta function and that therefore is the solution to this riddle propounded by Bernhard Riemann or Bernard Riemann uh, in 1859 in a six page track that he uh, uh, at that time wrote on the zeta function. So I'm wondering if um, if uh, Theoria Applefaces can take these indications and actually work possibly in the system of Principia Mathematica. He may have to learn it or he may have already heard of it and learned some of it. And so if he could work in that system and actually show that the very separation um, of the of the vortices and what might be called the vortices in the trochoid uh, pattern that is formed by electromagnetism would not be a naturally emergent uh, separation when one considers the electron and positron and the space-time points that they form so that our entire cosmos might in the end be the very form he discovered when he read so closely Plato's uh, Republic, I believe at 509, the, he found the answer to Plato in the Pythagoreans, or the Pythagoreans' suggestion 
that there is such an earth form. And uh, so I'm trying to actually lure him into this and that, you know, there's a substantial, uh, there'd be something a substantial uh, reward for him if he did this because Riemann's uh, zeta function and it's the problem that it presents to mathematicians and has now for over 150 years would lead to him having a one million dollar award if he can solve it and so he might find that in the realm of physics he's he's already got the answer it's just a matter of working backward from the trochoid pattern that the whole cosmos is to the fact that that trochoid uh, formation and the separation of the uh, centrifugally and centripetally formed s separations of space-time points are exactly Riemann zeta function, and so that's what this uh, mail this uh, post is directed at him in this sense to see if uh, maybe he would be interested in working on that and if he were i think we would have an excellent mathematician and platonist and uh working on it and we would see that he has ca he has a mind that is capable of going and doing a problem like this and of in a sense maybe recreating what the ancient plato knew and what he had actually proved to his academy, that the, the universe had one particular shape that emerged from one particular mathematical equation, as uh, Theoria already believes, and so that this deeper mathematics will then be essential to that isosceles that he discovered with 36 degree base angles and a 108 degree vertex angle. These will be the very emergent, triangular patterns that are distorted by the centripetal and centrifugal forces of electromagnetism and gravity and therefore form the entire shape of the universe a beautiful trochoid just like when you look at a sunflower and you see all the spirals in a sunflower and um, I have called this previously the tree of um, the tree structure of the universe or the trunk structure of the universe or two trunks, you know, going back to the Bible where there are two trees and how the, the spiral galaxies have this exact sh shape of the trochoid. And so therefore the roots of all reality and of all Platonist and Pythagorean and modern Platonist and Alfred North Whitehead who said the whole history of philosophy's footnotes to Plato.